Welcome back to AWS Cloud Services series. In last session, we discussed about application load balancer with their target group and listeners configuration. To check this video, link I have given in description. In today's topic, we are going to discuss about load balancer's best feature AWS has given, that is stickiness session. First, we need to understand how traditional system works without stickiness session. In this diagram, you can see we have application load balancer and user behind it. Generally, web system starts with the login system. To do so, user tries to log in and suppose application load balancer forwards this request to instance one and gives you login successful response. And after getting login successful, Suppose he or she wants to do profile settings and application load balancer forwards this second profile settings request to instance 2 where instance 2 does not have an idea that person has logged in already in instance 1. As you can see user session is not maintained throughout all the instances. So instance 2 tells user to log in again. As you can think this is bad experience for user. Even we log in successfully in instance 1, all subsequent requests are giving unexpected response. To solve this situation, AWS has given the best facility to maintain the session among all the instances. This time, if user requests for login, the request forwards to the instance 1 and gives you the login successful response. After getting login successful, application load balancer responded with the cookie to user. This cookie is going to store in user's device throughout the session. Means this cookie is valid for some duration. And in subsequent request, user request for profile settings, application load balancer forward this request to instance 1 instead of instance 2. Because in cookie session, application load balancer already know person has already logged in in instance 1 and because we already logged in in instance 1 and session is maintained it will give expected response by rendering profile settings page so user can play with the application till the cookie is valid let's see how to enable stickiness session by doing hands-on here you can see I don't have any instances running currently. So click on instances and click on launch instances. Give a name for instance that is instance 1. Now scroll down, select Amazon Linux AMI that is free tier eligible. Scroll down to select instance type. We are going to keep T2 micro as it is because it is free tier eligible. Here we are going to create a new key pair. Click on new key pair. Give a name common key because I am going to keep this key for every instances we are going to create. Select PPK type and click on create key pair key will be downloaded on your system keep it in safe location now scroll down now in network settings click on edit I'm going to create a separate security group for all the instances I'm going to create that is instance SG the description I'm keeping as it is now scroll down for advanced details find user data field I'm going to keep this four lines of script. It will help you to install Java on your instance because my application is going to run on Java. Now click on launch instance. Click on view all instances. As you can see the instance one is already running straight. In the same way I have created instance two instance. Make sure you select same key pair and security group while creating second instance. Now in next step, we are going to deploy our application on all these instances. To learn how to prepare Spring Boot application, you can check my previous video. 
I will give it in description. So to deploy the application on instance, open WinSCP application tool. Here you can give a host name with the public IPv4 address and user will be ec2-user. Now click on advanced to select key pair, click on authentication, click on these three dots in downloads the key pair has been downloaded and which is common for all the instances select key pair click on ok now click on save give a name instance one now click on ok and click on login say yes to this prompt again on right hand side you can see our instance one storage drag our jar application file and drop in in instant storage to start this application we need to do ssh into this instance so click on this open session in putty if you do ls here you can see the application is successfully moved in our instance one to start this jar we have a command java hyphen jar with the application name that is jar name hit enter as you can see the application has started with 8080 port successfully in same way we can deploy our application in second instance so copy the public ip address of second instance go to your win sap click on new session and click on new site in the same way i have prepared instance 2 the same application is running on instance 2 with the 8080 port now in next step we are going to create application load balancer so go back to your aws console on left hand side you can scroll down you can see the load balancer options click on it now click on create load balancer here we are going to create the application load balancer so click on create you give a name for this load balancer we are going to keep this load balancer on internet facing and ip address type will be ipv4 scroll down as our instances has been created in same availability zone that is ap south 1a so select it now scroll down for these instances we are going to create a separate security group so click on create new security group it will open in new tab give a name for this application load balancer security group albsg i'm going to keep this same in description it will be in same vpc click on add rule keep type custom tcp as it is so our application is running on 8080 port give a port range now in source you can select anywhere ipv4 this load balancer is internet facing so it should be open to all this zero patterns defines the same now scroll down click on create security group go back to your old tab click on the refresh under security groups section in drop down you can see application load balancer security group earlier we have created you can remove the default security group now scroll down in listeners we need to keep port 8080 as you can see there is no target group created here so click on create target group it will also open in separate tab this target group will be group of instances so keep instances target type give a name for this target group make sure your port will be 8080 so it will be in same vpc and protocol version will be http1 now scroll down now give the health check path which is already I have defined in my application. Now scroll down and click on next. Here you can see our two instances 
are in running state select those instances to register with this target group to register it click on include as pending below now scroll down you can see two instances we have added successfully in the target group now click on create target group now in next step we need to configure instance security group with our port number so click on security groups we have this instance security group click on it here you can see under inbound rules click on edit inbound rules now click on add rule here the type will be custom tcp as it is and port will be our applications port that is 8080 and source type will be ipv4 so instead of keeping these instances facing toward internet i'm going to keep it in the way that it will accept the request from application load balancer so remove this zero pattern now click on search and if you scroll down you will see application load balancer security group earlier we have created select it and click on save rules here you can see our target group is also created successfully so go back to your old tab and click on refresh in drop down you can see our target group is appeared in the list select it now scroll down check summary and click on create load balancer here it is asking me to select at least two subnets so click on second subnet that is ap south 1b now again click on create load balancer you can click on view load balance to check the application is running on instances successfully and those instances are registered successfully on this application load balancer copy the dns name of application load balancer go to new tab give a url so it will be with the 8080 port and your path hit enter now you can see it has forwarded to instance 2 which has private ip address that ends with dot 39 and if you refresh the request has been forwarded to instance 1 to enable the stickiness in the application load balancer go back to your aws console on left hand side you can see the target groups click on it select the target group go to attributes now scroll down here you can see the target selection configuration stickiness is off we can turn it on to enable this click on edit now scroll down enable the stickiness it will ask you that stickiness type we are going to keep load balancer generated cookie let the load balancer handle this cookie or you can handle it manually by selecting application based cookie for now we are going to keep the load balancer generated cookie and validity for this cookie i'm going to keep for one minute now scroll down and click on save changes to check the stickiness is enabled for the application load balancer target group go back to your url the new tab and if you refresh the request has forwarded to the instance one which has the private ip address which ends with 242 and if you refresh again it will go to same instance you can check by clicking multiple times you can cross check cookie has been stored in your local device to cross check it right click on the browser select inspect go to more tabs and select application here you can see under cookies aws alb cookie is downloaded this cookie is valid for one minute that we have mentioned if you right click on this cookie and delete and try to refresh this url again it will go to the second instance because stickiness cookie has been deleted 
and one more new cookie is created for this request and it is also valid for one more minute and you try to refresh it again it will go to the instance 1 which has private IP address which ends with 39 you can check by clicking multiple times on refresh button this is how easy to enable the stickiness in application load balancer target group that's it for this session if you understood this concept please subscribe my channel if you like this video hit the like button and share it with your friends